So this video is going to be pretty short. It's one of those videos where I just want to put things in perspective quickly and answer a couple of questions people have asked me. Number one is kind of, why haven't I been mentioning Comet Lake? And also, why do I disregard Intel's current lead in gaming performance? So let's answer the first question. I'm disregarding Comet Lake because I don't expect more than a 5% IPC boost on Intel. Um, probably less than a 5% clock speed boost. I will be floored if Intel gets to a boost clock even as high as 5.2 gigahertz. And frankly, no one should give a shit about 10 cores when AMD is about to drop 16 cores. And in fact, Comet Lake's probably going to come out after the 16 core um, Ryzen 3000 series is out. So it's it's probably going to look hilarious in comparison when they review it. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be a little bit wrong, but I just... If, you're, if your argument is Comet Lake could have a 20% IPC boost and be clocked at 6 gigahertz, well, I don't believe you, and that is what it would take for me to be impressed by Comet Lake based on what I think Ryzen 3000 is going to be. But the main bulk of this video, I actually want to talk about putting things in perspective for CPU gaming performance. Uh, in the links below, you will have a few different things. One is a video, you know, 2700X versus 9900K. Which one is better? That's really what gave me the idea for this video. The fact that these CPUs are even being compared... It means Intel's lost the CPU war already. Already. We're talking about a processor that uses more energy, costs twice as much, and wins by 10 to 20% on average. That is insane that you're comparing these. You should be comparing the 9900K to Threadripper, right? And be ignoring gaming performance because... And I've continued to say this, I'm going to keep saying it. Unless you have a 2080 Ti, or in my opinion, a Titan RTX, you are an idiot if you own a 9900K. There are so many things you can upgrade in your PC for that extra difference in money between a 2700X or just an old i7, frankly, and the 9900Ks that... Unless you have the strongest graphics card in like a PCIe SSD, you're wasting your money big time here. I mean, let's put this... Uh, so, the performance difference is literally this. Imagine if you were seeing articles that said, Vega 56, is it worth considering over the 2080 if the Vega 56 used less energy than the 2080 and was only 10% weaker. Imagine that. If like the $330 Vega 56 traded blows with the 2080 in most games, used less energy, and the 2080 still cost as much as it does right now. It'd be, the comment section would be... Just people freaking out that you're even mentioning the 2080 because only a complete moron would buy one. That's the same performance difference between the 2700X and the 9900K. And yet people are still mentioning the 9900K. The war is over. Intel is a full generation behind AMD at least. AMD is selling CPUs that cost less to make use less energy, and are half the price as their direct comparisons. Like, it's bad. Very bad right now for Intel. And imagine AMD doubling their performance right now. Adding two cores is not going to make a difference, people. You know, I just really, really want to point out that if this was the same parallel in the GPU space, no one would be mentioning the 2080. And the fact that you have a $300 CPU even being comparable to a $500 to $600 CPU, a $500 to $600 CPU that also requires a $100 liquid cooler bought separately to even really be worth considering, that means the war is already over.
And that that is, I've just never seen this before in PC. I've never seen a comparison this insane. Even the 290X versus Titan was maybe a little less stupid than this. But, and I can't believe people are actually still saying, if you're gaming, the 9900K is worth, com worth considering. Only worth considering if you're okay with security flaws and have a Titan RTX. Because once you have a Titan RTX, the overall cost of your build is worth throwing the 9900K in. Yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, please like, subscribe, support me on Patreon. Thank you.